Hello, my name is Max, this is No Code Nerd, and we're talking about Axiom today. So Axiom is pretty wild. Um, if you've ever heard of things like, uh, like macros, right? Like uh, browser extension macros or, or things like that. Um, this helps you build those without code. So it helps you find a website, go into that website, and do everything that you want. Like your your mouse goes to certain places, certain letters and keys are typed in. It helps you like make a little robot, a little program to go and do stuff on a website for you, which is wild. I, I never thought macros were 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 automatable. Um, you can press keys, you can upload and download files, you can do social media likes or unlikes, you can send texts, you can do all these super super crazy things um, automated and in a little process. So you basically like walk through a little flow, right? You build yourself a little flow of, okay, go to this website, get a list of links to pages, go and grab information off of these pages. Uh, you know, like, so you could use it as a web scraper. You could use it as like an automatic, like an automatic filer. So let's say you have data in a spreadsheet, but you need to import it and, and submit it to some form that's online. It can go, it can log in and you can use this on social media sites. Like there, it, this is, it's wild. I really need to get better at using stuff like this because I do a lot of personal manual work when it comes to data collection and when it comes to just, you know, using the internet in the same way as repeated. Um, so if I can build, uh, like a little bot to go and write a blog post for me or submit a blog post for me, then we're good, right? That's awesome. Um, so yeah, in terms of web macros and automating things that you do on the internet, Axiom has you covered. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next episode.